My name is Zane. Um, and I was asked today to highlight the E in TED, which inadvertently gets left out a lot of TED Talk conferences. Um, I'm, I know many of you already knew that I have no social life. I mean, I'm a gymnast. Um, so I'm sure you were very surprised to hear that today I'll be talking about gymnastics. So first of all, what is gymnastics? Well, dating back to ancient Greek Olympics, uh, gymnastics is a sport laden with hard falls. Spectacular fails. Uh, really great wins. And in general, hilarity. That's not me, by the way. Could be, though. Uh, however, first and, foremost, first and foremost, it's a sport of intensity. It's, um, it's incessant strength training, uh, endless repetition of skills, and, of course, really, really hard falls. And I highlight these because I've actually experienced all three of these in the last few years. Um, they're really fun. On that note, um, it's clearly a tough sport. Everyone knows gymnastics is a tough sport, but it's, it can be difficult to imagine how tough it is. So just for a second, um, try to imagine how difficult a handstand is. Right, well the handstand is one of the most fundamental skills to gymnastics. Um, every gymnast has to learn it, boy or girl, within the first few years and continue to perfect it as they move throughout gymnastics. In fact, I still don't have a perfect handstand and I probably never will. So as you move through gymnastics, you, you add new skills to your reservoir, you, you, your repertoire, you add backflips, you can add twists to those backflips, I'll save those for the end. Um, you add difficult strength holds, basically anything you can imagine and anything that you've seen. These skills don't come easy though. Um, I risk serious injury every time I enter the gym. Uh, I sacrifice all of my free time, three to four hours a day, six days a week, um, every week of the year, basically. Um, and I've endured no small amount of pain to, to get to the results that I have today. And, and I'm not even close to done. Um, and so far, so far I've been lucky. Uh, other than the, the unavoidable rips that you get on your wrists and hands, um, and the, the gymnast wrist that 70% of gymnasts get, which prevents me from moving my right hand past this, which is about 25 degrees. Normally it's about 70, 75. Um, other than these pretty minor injuries, I've, I've had no serious debilitating injuries in the last 15 years of my training. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for most of my teammates and even most uh, professional gymnasts. I've seen uh, ankles, arms, wrists, and backs break. Uh, I've seen holes torn in the back of heads by hard metal bars. I see more blood stains on all manners of equipment than I care to count. It, it's, it sucks. It's, it's painful. Uh, so why do we do it? Well, that's, that's a good question. And it's not one I can fully answer. I mean, don't get me wrong, gymnastics is a fantastic sport and there are a great many benefits to practicing it. Um, physically, it improves 
coordination, spatial awareness, balance, and of course general strength. Uh, mentally, you get skills of teamwork, um, dedication, perseverance, commitment, and confidence, and much, much else beside. Um, but besides this, this, this doesn't really fully justify uh, sacrificing so much to a sport and so much time and energy to a, a sport that will end up just messing up your joints later in life. Uh, so why do we do it? Well, I can't tell you why gymnastics is practiced in general, but I can, I can give you an idea of why I do it and why, why I love the sport and why I continue with the sport. Um, despite all of the difficulties it provides. The first, the first main reason I do gymnastics is it's the community. Uh, the gymnastics community is unique in that every member has, has given such a massive portion of his or her life to the sport that we feel deeply connected to one another. Um, it's, the gymnastics community has helped me through four uh, international, four overseas moves, uh, two pretty significant language barriers, um, and it, it made me fluent in the language of my last location, uh, Dutch. Ev everywhere I've lived, I found my closest friends to be at gymnastics, and these are friends that I'll, that I'll cherish for my entire life, and I'm certain of that. Um, in short, it's made me feel at home at every place I've lived so far and, and every place I will in the future. I mean, the second reason, of course, is the muscles. I mean, come on. How many of you, how many of you wouldn't kill to have, guys, how many of you guys wouldn't kill to have two of these? Yi <laughs> Um. In all seriousness, it's not the muscles. It's, it has to be the adrenaline junkie every gymnast has at, um, at his heart. It's the, the rush of, the, the absolute high of, feeling, of, of trying a new skill, whether it works or not. Um, the, the pounding of your heart and your chest, much like I feel right now, because I'm not very great at public speaking. And the, the shaking of your hands after landing that double backflip or the double double uh, roll out or whatever it is it's 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 a feeling incomparable to any other and it's from day to day it's what makes gymnastics really worth it um, the final reason I do gymnastics is the direction it gives me in as I try to make sense of my rapidly changing life as an IB student and as a teenager um, all of the daily stress all the daily frustrations the bad grades the social anxiety the, uh, the piles of homework, they all disappear once I enter the gym. Um, and I leave too physically exhausted to be st really stressed. Uh, it's, it's a way that to, to channel my frustration and channel the, the challenges of high school and just general life into a sport that I really love. And while it has definitely affected my grades and my sleep um, negatively, it's, I've, I've, had, I've reaped enough benefit from the sport, from the constant nature of the sport in my life to say that it's really, really worth it. Now, hopefully I haven't bored you too much with my harangue. Um, to make up for my lack of public speaking skills, I'd like to give you a short demonstration as soon as the stuff comes up.
Thank you.